I've been reselling used and new clothes for about four years now and starting that has been life-changing. I have gotten myself into different opportunities, different situations, all because of reselling because one thing leads to another, leads to another, leads to another, such as reselling led to YouTube, YouTube led to different unboxings. That's what this box here is. This is more of a fun unboxing just because, because as I was watching a YouTube video, I saw somebody unboxing an unclaimed mailbox and I thought, mm, why not? Let's give it a try. So this box here has, I want to say seven or eight pieces of unclaimed mail. Now this is mail that was lost at the post office. So somebody paid to ship out their package and they never actually received it. I know that's happened to me so many times and I never actually knew what happened to the packages. And now I know they end up selling it off for some other schmuck to buy them. So I'm here just to try it out, see what it's all about. I don't know if I'm going to get anything that's worth anything. I, yes, I'm going to think about reselling some of these items, but as I said, one thing leads to another. I'm just kind of seeing what's in this box. So here we go. I do think it's kind of fun to think that one thing leads to another and how different opportunities and different situations in life, different decisions can change your life completely. Maybe something in this box is going to be life-changing. Maybe I'm going to learn about, I don't know, something new, and then I'm going to be super excited about that. And you never know. It's all about decisions, opportunities, and I'm here at taking advantage of them. With these unclaimed packages, they do kind of black out. They probably use some kind of heat gun to take away the address so you can't see where this item came from, where it was going to, just to protect people's privacy. This piece is super, super tiny. I have never seen a piece of mail this small before. I guess let's open it up and see what it is. It honestly doesn't feel like there's anything in here, but I do have the scissors still. I'm gonna carefully cut. I don't know if it's like paper in here or what is in here. Oh, it's a ring. Okay, that makes sense why it's such a small piece of mail. I've honestly legitimately never seen anything this small. It is size five and it is, oh, it just says ring. So the fact that there's like no kind of brand or anything tells me I don't know, maybe it's Amazon type ring or something, but it's a ring. Nonetheless, I will wear it probably not on that finger. Ooh. There we go. It's a ring. Nonetheless, it definitely fits me. So I think I'm going to be keeping that one. It's, it is cheap. It's definitely plastic and it has like little gems on it. I don't know. I am always in search for new rings, so... That's something that I am going to keep for myself. So that is package number one. I think that it was seven or eight packages, but I guess we'll count along the way. So that was number one. Second one is also a small package. Again, with the address blocked off or blacked out on it. It is press on nails. I work at a school and we have a school store. So I'm thinking these will be going in the school store for the ladies because they are all about the press on nails. So another fun thing that I can absolutely use somehow in my life. I know that I'm going to get something in here that I don't have any use for and I can't send to my school or whatever. But again, this is just for fun. This one is a marker, a permanent marker. That's interesting. And I don't know what this is. I have no idea what these little things even are. I guess I'll take one out to show a little bit closer. They're like little, little tiny gold plates. I don't know. As I was saying that I'm going to have something that I have no use for, I think this is it. I have no idea what to do with this and a permanent marker. Those two things are pretty random. Uh, I'm going to guess it had something to do with crafting or something. I don't, 
I don't know. Does anybody know what these things are supposed to be? Because I, I have no idea. All right, so that's three so far. This is the fourth. It feels like it could be clothing, a blanket. I don't know. We'll see. This is a sweatshirt of some sort. It is interesting to be opening somebody else's mail to see what people get in the mail and what types of things are lost in the mail. I kind of feel like if it's something that's really good, somebody's going to make the effort to track down the item. So I don't really anticipate I'm going to be finding anything that's worth a crazy amount of money in here. But this person had this sweatshirt. Definitely feels like Amazon quality. Hmm. I don't know what that says. I don't know what this band is. Does anybody know what this band is? Hmm. Interesting. That might be also going to my school store. At least I'm going to be donating stuff to the school store, I guess. Another item that feels like it could possibly be clothing. I don't know if you can tell, but the heat gun or whatever they used uh, kind of glued the bag together a little bit. Just a couple of things. A little poppet keychain there. Also going to the school store or it might be going to my niece. Um, sorry, I was looking to see if there was anything else in here but I think it was just because oh no there is something. These two might go. Okay these are gloves little skeleton gloves and this is also gloves hmm. interesting I know it would be against so many different things almost into illegal territory I mean kind of creepy but I want to look up I want to be able to look up who is ordering stuff like this like what do you does look like I don't know. I really want to know who these people are. This is the Baby Collective. So it's coming, I'm assuming it's a small business. Baby Collective. I guess I'll have to look it up and see. If so, I'm always about supporting small businesses. So even though this is unclaimed mail, I kind of feel like I'm supporting a small business just by showing this on there. So hopefully these are pretty cute. They're the same thing. So I'm going to open just one to show you what it is. It looks like they're cute little PJs. Oh my gosh, how cute. Okay, that's cute. I am about it. Don't know what I can do with it. Again, I resell clothes, but I don't know. I do have some people with little babies in their lives, so these might be passed on to them. I guess it's kind of like a free gift that I can give to somebody without spending my own money, even though I did spend my own money on this box. It's not advertisement or anything. This is interesting. It feels like shoes, but it looks like somebody self-taped them, so it looks like it's probably a return, which makes me a little bit nervous because what I've learned in reselling is people return used stuff all the time. Like, did you know that Nordstrom takes basically anything back like even if it's used shoes that you've worn for years and years and years and they are just beat up Nordstrom will take them back so I'm worried that the, this feels like their shoes I'm worried they're gonna be all used okay I don't know what brand these are it says 350 on the inside I will admit I'm not any kind of sneaker head in any way I don't know what brand these are, or maybe they're just like an off brand, but the shoes don't look so bad and they look like they might be approximately my size. So maybe I just got brand new shoes. I wouldn't be mad about that. I definitely need shoes, but you know, I gotta look through them. They seem like they're relatively clean. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be that color on the bottom. It looks like it's completely white. I don't know if you recognize these shoes and I don't know, let me know, but I think I just got new shoes for myself. This is the last one and it feels like it's not anything special, 
but we will see. Um, I don't know. Ice maker, maybe? We freeze ice. That's, I think that's, that's what that is. I'm going to guess. Yep, these are all kinds of different ice makers, which is pretty cool for a party. I mean, I'll take it. I'll use it. Somebody was definitely having some kind of party when they ordered this stuff. So we got some scissors. Scissors to go along with it. Kitchen scissors. Okay, something I can always use. More of the ice trays. The cute little balls. Girls' night kind of thing. So I actually think that's kind of cute. That's not something that I would buy for myself, so I'm happy that I got it. A little mixer, frother. I guess I'll take it out because, I mean, why not? I'm probably going to be keeping this stuff because, I don't know. Why not? It's fun. There we go. A puff at marble. That's what it says. A puff at marble. What is a pillbox? How do I open? Okay, just a travel pillbox, which I've actually been doing a lot of traveling lately, so I might actually be using this. I got the Frontier Go Wild Pass, and I have been absolutely loving it. I've taken three trips so far. I am planning to take my fourth trip tomorrow, so I have to log on to make sure I can get a flight for it. If you have the Frontier Go Wild Pass and you have been able to use it, uh, props to you. I absolutely love it. I know that some people have expressed that they're having some trouble with it, but I honestly have had no problems whatsoever. I've been kind of planning out my trips to make sure that I don't get stuck and I get a return flight. I make sure that I'm going to somewhere with a major hub for Frontier, so I know there's constantly flights out. Or if I can't get a, a um, a straight flight I know that the connecting flights aren't that long so I kind of research the return flights before I go so there is another pillbox that I could take on my travels or pass on to somebody else too more party supplies these look like little serving spoons we'll take them out to show you look like just cute that's actually really cute I like it. So when you make the little ice, you can put it in to scoop it out, or you can put, I don't know, salt, sugar, little dips, like little tiny dips that you want to serve on crackers or whatever. You can use these as serving utensils for parties. These, and I'm not entirely sure. They're just like tiny, tiny, like, they look like little to-go trays. They're really cute. So they're like tiny, tiny little to-go trays. I honestly don't know what they're for. Like you can almost use it as a little pill box, but I'm assuming because it came with all this serving stuff with the other stuff that this person ordered, it has something to do with serving. Like, I don't know, sauce. Maybe you put sauce in this tiny container to go. I don't know. What do you think this is for? Because I'm, I'm, I have no idea. More of the party supplies. That's cute. Another little mixer. More of these, I don't know, I guess like I said, they're little like to-go trays, it seems like. And another mixer. So that's all that came in this box. This is kind of a fun little experiment to see what I would get from this box. Again, this is all unclaimed mail. It's all mystery. I don't think the company knew what's in these pieces of mail. It just... It's all a gamble. I've seen some people get Gucci, whether it's real or not. I've seen some people get literally nothing in a package. Like that first one with the ring, I was kind of afraid there was not going to be anything in the package, but it was just that little tiny cheap ring. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to just experiment with little things. So have you gotten any unclaimed mail? Do you think that you would get it after seeing this unboxing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Should I continue to do these unboxing? I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll try with a different company. We'll see. By the way, the company that I did use is called Fun Delivered. They do have a little card that they would put in the box. They do release their boxes every Friday at, I don't know, I think it's like 12 o'clock. And the boxes actually go pretty quickly because I think some people really have gotten good stuff. This I, I did get a lot of party supplies, which I'm not mad about because I definitely will use them in that last package. The other ones, 
like these little gold charms. I still have no idea what they are or what I'm gonna do with them. I'll probably donate them or put them on buy nothing or something. Who knows, I, cause I don't. Maybe you know what they are. Thank you for watching. If you are not yet subscribed and you wanna see what else I get myself into, will I be unboxing something new? Will I be going on another trip through Frontier? Will I be just sh sharing with you what I'm selling through reselling? Who knows, but you'll never know unless you subscribe. If you did enjoy this video or you enjoyed laughing along with me, go ahead and hit the like button. That really truly does help YouTube know that you appreciate my content and it shows up on your homepage and the homepage of others and we can continue to learn and grow together.